Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Sports fans, since it's the new year, one of the most common New Year's resolutions that people make is to be more healthy and to start exercising. Three years ago, one man set a goal to run a marathon in all 196 countries on Earth. Retired banker Nick Butter traded his banking suits for running shoes, and over one million steps later, he finally reached his goal. He took 455 flights, got 120 visas, and used 10 passports in order to complete his goal, which he also completed in less than three years. Nick is really an inspiration, and he shows that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Now let's go to Valencia for the lunch report. Hey Scott, today's lunch is spaghetti and meatballs, broccoli, peaches, and your choice of milk. Students, there is a shortage of sports, so they can only be given to students that are purchasing lunch. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's go back to Angelie. Thank you, Valencia. These are the winners from the two-week Winter I Ready Challenge. Congrats for all the winners. Keep an eye out for their Let's Talk interview, or we will get to know more about them. Patriots, the ready assessments are here. The first one is today and tomorrow. It's for the 3rd to 8th grade ELA. And the next one is this Thursday, January 6th. Take a look at the flyer for more upcoming dates. Let's get those assessments done. Our Pines Patriots car wash is coming up. It's on Saturday, January 29th. It costs just $10 per car wash. Tickets are sold on myschoolbucks.com. This event is to support our athletes. Tell your parents that you want to ride in style. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Hey Patriots, today's weather is 78 degrees Fahrenheit and probably cloudy. We're soon leaving winter weather, so get ready for some outside activities. In other weather news, little tiny crabs cover rocks and make them red. These crabs are so small, but a huge amount of them gather around while the sun shines light at those little creatures, making them a bright red color. There can be millions of them in and on just one rock. Now let's go to Malik and Sonia for Weird But True. Thank you, Angelie. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Sonia. And I'm Malik. Here's this week's Weird But True fact. Did you know that you can use crickets to tell the temperature? Yep. Crickets are cold-blooded critters, and they absorb temperature around them. You can determine the temperature by listening to their chirping. Crickets' muscles contract to produce chirping. This is based on chemical reactions. The higher the temperature, the easier their muscles contract, producing more chirps, and the lower the temperature, the less of the chirps occur. They only chirp in 55 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. To get a rough estimate of the temperature, count how many times it cricket chirps in 14 seconds, then out of 40. Sounds like a fun experiment to try with your friends and family. That's it for this week's Weird But True Fact. Now let's go to Valencia for the birthdays. Thank you Malik and Sonia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Lauren Giles, Jordan Johnson, Troy Lake, Abigail St. Tillian, Geronimo Valencia, and Jazlyn Zapata. 
Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angeli. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Manning, Miss Stone, Miss Blank, Miss Onley, and Miss Santori. You all had the correct answer to Monday's trivia question, which was What country invented the ice cream sundae? The correct answer is the United States. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which body parts continue to grow throughout your entire life? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced, announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!